Hey everyone. Well, it's getting a little hotter out. Sometimes that's good, sometimes that bad, but the, uh, the river got a little lower for some reason. Um, so, just kind of got to go to hole to hole. That's just how it is. And see, so you got to walk through that kind of brushy stuff. get to these holes. That's the way it is. Other than that, it's a good day. I caught two nice rainbow. Show you one of them here. Nice little rainbow. Uh, about 11 inches. So, Good deal. So I'll end this for now and maybe we can get into some brook trout. Okay everyone, I'm gonna call it a day. Um, getting tired and I got some bourbon and a cigar and some ice cold beer waiting for me. It's just beautiful. I swear to God, I just love to stay here forever. Just beautiful here. Anyway, um, I limited out. Got six nice trout. This one's really nice. This one uh, is about 11 inches. So, uh, did okay. We're going to eat tonight. So anyway, thanks for watching and I will continue. This is only day one. <laughs> So, much more to come. Okay, everyone. So, tonight is steak night. So, while we're getting our steak ready, of course, we got to dabble in our bourbon. And what are we drinking here? Knob Creek. 120 proof. Awesome. Here are our steaks. Yeah, and we have uh, some potatoes being made. Carl, any words? No words. Where's the bourbon? <laughs> it's on the table. All right. <coughs> yeah, I'm gonna have. And, uh, let's see. I'm gonna have some more. <coughs> so, anyway, when the steaks are done, the meal's ready. I will continue. Bye. All right, everyone. Um, kind of went out for a little bit. Um, I don't know. Sometimes the pressure or whatever um, affects the fishing. I got one nice one. One nice trout. I don't know. About 10 inches. Decent size. Love that brook trout. I mean, look at the colors. Absolutely awesome. All right, so why am I doing this? I'm going to show you how to clean a trout. Very easy. I'm going to show you here. You want to go from uh, where they expel their waste. I'm being politically correct here. And you want to cut all the way up. So I will show you. So you cut all the way up. It's very easy. Got to have a sharp knife, though. And uh, again, uh, Chad, the fat man, sharp knife. All right, so now what you're doing, after you've done that, you expose the gill. There's what they call gill plate, and that's right here. So oh, I want to show that right here where the you want to cut that. Watch your fingers, but you you want to hold the uh, trout by the lips so you don't cut yourself. And you want to cut that. And as soon as you cut through that, and it's pretty tough. That's why you got to have a sharp knife. 
you definitely got to have a sharp knife for this. All right, so once that's, that's cut, you can put your knife away. You don't cut anything. Now watch. You just grab, put your finger in there. And what you're going to do is you're going to pull down. Just like that. And that's everything. This one was a female. See the eggs? So what do you do with that? You throw it back in the river. Other fish will feed on this. That's okay. The important thing is, see inside, that's their uh, main blood vein. You've got to take your thumb and rake that and get that out of there. Otherwise, it'll taint the meat. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so the end result is a nice clean inner body. See that? No blood vein. You get all that out because uh, I guarantee you, if you try to store fish with that in it, especially a trout, it'll taint the meat. So uh, you want to do that. Um, the limit here is 8 inches. So, this is a nice trout for this area, trust me. Um, you know a nice trout when they uh, stay deep. And uh, this one fought a little bit. I used my uh, ultralight rod, six, uh, number six hook. Nice size split shot to keep it down. And just waited, you gotta be patient. Um, but this is the end result. Um, wasn't as good as a hole as I'd expect, but at least I got one. And if you get. Alright, everyone. Day two. And uh, it rained for half the day. You can see kind of the stream here. And it's beautiful. Um, I had to hunt for them a little bit, but I ended up getting uh, four nice uh, brookies. Real nice. I mean, look how pretty these things are. They are just unbelievable fish. Anyway, it's all a pretty good day. The limit is six. I, uh, I got four. I'm happy. And, uh, till tomorrow. Oh, tonight we're uh, having pork tenderloin. Maybe I'll let you see that. Till then. Okay, so Carl. Oh, these are the right, fruits yeah. of our labor. That's right, yeah. Meeting Frank's fish. <laughs> so what do you think? Well, I haven't had a bite yet. It's so hot. Yeah, you can see the steam come mm. rolling off this. The tail is good. Yeah, we call it, what do we call the tails? Potato chips. Trout potato chip. Trout potato chips, yeah. You 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 know what? You have to eat the tails. That's one of the uh stipulations of being uh I've eaten lots trout of fishermen. I've eaten lots of tail in my life. Very good. <laughs> Yeah, we won't go there. <laughs> All right, mm. so this is mm. uh, 
the last day and great beans and rice here we are it's garlic for a winner all right I love well it. everybody be envious because this is awesome it's a good time <laughs>